Escaping from Alcatraz prison is thought to be impossible, but three brothers may have actually done it. The city of San Francisco is famous for so many different things. Some of them are beautiful, like the Golden Gate Bridge, and some of them are more of an eyesore, like Alcatraz prison. Located on Alcatraz Island, about a mile offshore from San Francisco, the prison has been home to some of the most dangerous and violent criminals of our time. Anyone who's ever served time there will likely never forget their experience within the prison's walls. Due to its island location, escaping from Alcatraz was generally deemed to be impossible by all accounts. However, that didn't stop over 30 different prisoners from trying to escape the confines of their cell throughout the history of the notorious prison. Although, unfortunately for them, none of them are believed to have been successful in their efforts to escape. The escapees who came the closest, however, were actually three brothers. John Anglin, Clarence Anglin, and Frank Morris all shared a prison cell together at Alcatraz. Unbeknownst to the guards, the brothers all formulated a plan to escape, which they then carried out over several months. John and Clarence would spend hours chipping away at the cell's ventilation ducts in an effort to make them wider. Frank acted as the lookout and to cover the noise that the other two were making, he'd play his accordion while his brothers worked on the wall. After several months of this slow and tedious process, the brothers were finally ready to make their escape. They placed dummy heads on their pillows in order to fool the guards, slid through the ventilation ducts, and then immediately began constructing the raft that would hopefully carry them off of Alcatraz Island. It was made by stitching 50 raincoats together, with pipe steam being used for the stitching. They made their descent into the water on their makeshift floating device, and it's believed that at some point later on, all three brothers drowned somewhere in the San Francisco Bay. FBI agents eventually recovered the raft, and everything seemed to point to yet another failed escape attempt from Alcatraz. However, over the years, there have been several reports that the brothers may be alive after all. Their family confirmed their escape, but then said they'd become estranged from them. One of their siblings even produced a photograph of the brothers allegedly on their deathbed, claiming that he was still alive long after his escape. The most compelling piece of evidence, however, is a letter that was sent to the FBI by John Anglin himself. In the letter, John claimed that he required serious medical treatment and offered to turn himself into authorities if he could receive the help that he needed. No word on if the FBI ever took him up on his offer.